Like a butterfly deep inside, wrestling to break free. Like a butterfly deep inside, with your Hoosier spirit seed. Like a butterfly deep inside, this burning in my heart. Like a butterfly deep inside, setting me Hi everyone, welcome to The Behaviour Revolution. My name's Mark and I'm gonna take you on a tour of our website. It's getting a fresh facelift and just to make things very easy for you to find. There, The Behaviour Revolution's been around now for nearly 10 years and there is so much stuff on our website and it can get lost to time. So I wanna draw your attention to certain things. I'm gonna do one of these little videos every day just to take you through different things that we're working on. And just to let you know, The Behaviour Revolution is non-denominational we're not part of any umbrella group or corporation or anything like that we are not interested in religion whatsoever uh, we're not interested in your money or subscriptions or anything like that because uh, we all have jobs we have our own funding and we're certainly not interested in yours so this is our website the behavior revolution it's a revolution in behavior wherever Yahusha went there was a revolution and as we know the only worship praise and worship that he is interested in these days is true living behavior from these living temples. So this is the homepage of our website. Yahusha is Elohim. It's the foundation of everything we believe here. Yahuwah became a man to deliver us. His name is Yahusha. He became our deliverance and he died for us and he went back up into heaven and he is Elohim, seated on the throne in all majesty. If you want up to date, day to day, like live updates of what we're doing and fresh things that Yahushua is giving us, right here, go to our Facebook page. Our YouTube channel has thousands of videos on it and there is an easy, simple scripture version. It's not complete, but if you're looking for an easy, simple English version of scriptures with the name Yahuwah and Yahushua in it, go there. And then we have a study site too where all our old sermons and notes and everything is, is all in one place. This will give you a little bit of a guess of what the behavior revolution is on about. Our creator, Yahuwah, if you're new to the name Yahuwah, the world just calls him God. But his true name in scripture in Hebrew is Yahuwah. Our creator, Yahuwah, divorced his first bride, Israel, for her idolatry. Then he morphed or metamorphed into the man, Yahushua Messiah. Uh, you might have known him or heard of him as Jesus Christ, but that, that name's only 600 years old, so... Who was he? His name was Yahusha. He came to earth as a man and he was called Yahusha. He died on a torture stake to deliver us and is now Elohim, seated on the throne in all power and esteem, ushering in a new creation order to actively prepare his chosen bride for his soon return. How does he do this? Through a baptism of spirit and fire. You get his spirit inside you and you get his fire come upon you. It's a baptism of spirit and fire so that she the bride can overcome the spirit in her flesh that spirit in our flesh has controlled us ever since our birth it's the reason everything's gone wrong in your life it's the reason things have happened to you because of the spirit in everybody else's flesh and so that spirit has controlled her since birth all of us since birth we need to overcome that so we get a baptism of spirit and fire so we can overcome the spirit in our flesh that has controlled us and so we can mature in the fruits of loving behavior, which is loving Yahusha and loving our neighbor as ourself. This is the standard of bridal behavior. If you haven't gone through these steps, you're not qualified to speak. You're not qualified to teach, certainly not qualified to teach this. Uh, this vein of living behavior, this vein of deliverance is what the behavior revolution is on about because this is the standard. This is the only standard of legal behavior in Yahushua's economy, bridal behavior. It is a fulfillment of all scripture. All scripture, the book of scripture has been fulfilled by Yahushua and he now requires us to fulfill it in our living bodily temples. All scripture is to be fulfilled in our living body temples. So do you want a personal, intimate relationship with your Elohim, Yahushua Messiah? Remember, Yahuwah is gone. There is no father. That's just imagery. The father, the son. If this is all, if you're scratching your head about this a bit, we're going to go into all these different things in all the videos that are going to unfold here. 
on this website. So just remember, Yahuwah is gone. So do you want to know and have a personal relationship with your Elohim Yahusha and to know and feel truly delivered? To know and feel truly delivered? To be clean? To have a clean, fresh slate? To feel that? Delivered from everything, all the evil, the spirits, the voices, everything that's controlled you your whole life. You can be delivered. You can be free. You can be happy. You can be joyous. Do you want to taste the wonderment of his intoxicating love? Scripture calls it intoxicating love. It's a love that is greater than wine. And how much are people into wine and into alcohol and into substances and drugs and anything to give them a high, a blitz, a buzz, you know? Anything, sports, jumping out of planes, anything to get that adrenaline pumping, to take us out of the mundane, to make us feel this excitement of love. That's his love flowing through you daily. Do you want to have it flowing through you daily? Well, welcome to Yahushua's behavior revolution, because that's all we're interested in here. We want to overcome and be this, be a witness of what this looks like on this earth. What would Yahushua look like on this earth? That's what we're striving to be. We're not satisfied. We're certainly not finished. We're not overcome. We're not in the wilderness of waiting and seeking and serving him like that yet. We haven't snapped into place like that yet, but we are seeking him like that. And we're not going to tell you otherwise. And we've got hundreds of videos there where you can see we haven't got it together, but we're trying to. So if you want to join us, it's wonderful. Drop us a line and let us know. This is our website. And there's all these, that's our, just a little blurb at the top. But there are all sorts of articles on this website. And because uh, we've been writing stuff for years now on this part, on this site. Uh, the main, main headings here we're going to go into. And I'm going to work on them each day. And I'm going to present them to you day after day. Just short videos right down the line here. We're going to discuss all these issues here. Who is Yahushua? What is the vein that we talk about? The deliverance vein. What is it? The three rules, what are they? The portal door, how do we transition into the wilderness? How do we become mature and perfect? What is the wilderness? Being filtered? What does it mean to be filtered into the wilderness? Satan can't get into the wilderness. The bride is whisked away into the wilderness and she's protected. Satan can't get in there. So if we've got any satanly, satanic, evil behavior in us, can we filter into the wilderness? The royal laws of love, the two royal laws of love, the fruit of the spirit, the scriptures, Hebrews 12, testing. Who is Yisrael, Israel? Who is the bride? What's that all about? What is enemy warfare? What is maturity and rejoicing in trials? They're just some of the main topics we're going to discuss day after day. And uh, we've broken down the vein into little sausages, like you, t you have the meat and then you tie them off and they're little bite-sized packages. We call them sausages um, because... The message has to be broken down, as I said, into bite-sized packages so that you can share them with people. You can't just share somebody an essay, a thesis, something that's 20 pages long. You have to break it down into English, easy English. This is what you can have. This is deliverance. You can be relieved. You can be set free from all this sort of stuff. So the main thrust of the package deal, the vein package, which I'm not going to go into right now. This is just our homepage. And all these things here. Yahushua is Elohim. There is a narrow gate. It is Yahushua. There is a spirit baptism. And there is a fire baptism to experience. This is all in scripture. This is not religious. This is not Pentecostal. It's in scripture. It is available to you to have. If you want him like this. If you want that true spirit in you. To feel clean. To feel fresh. To feel new. And then you're going to go through a spirit fire flogging baptism. And it hurts. It's a test pit cauldron that gets heated up as Yahushua desires to show us how wrong and wicked our behavior is. And he scrapes it off. We have to be willing to go there. If you want to be perfected. If you don't want to be perfected, that's how you get into the wilderness. And then we have a lot of video series on this page too. We had a whole series about the fruit of the spirit which is really interesting. And these are live feeds from our YouTube channel. So as a new video gets added to our YouTube channel, you will see it on this homepage of the website. So far, these are all up to date. We have all sorts of, uh, we have Christopher and we have Victoria and we have myself and we have Therese and we have my son who's involved in this too, Micah. And uh, we're all getting into the swing of making videos and 
letting you know what's going on in our lives. We're all learning how to be more honest, to be more real, more transparent. And that's what these videos are all about. Really good video there about how to speak to people about Yahusha, how to open conversations and things like that. That was a good video. We're gonna go into the feasts on another occasion, but this this was my final word on all things to do with the feasts. It was, it's all about Yahusha, and it's all about our behavior in our bodies, not following the timekeeping of the Hebrew calendar or anything like that. Certainly not the Greco-Roman calendar or anything like that. It's about following Yahusha day after day after day, 24 seven. You're not let off the hook except seven times a year except one day a week on a Sabbath. No, we're preparing for a greater Sabbath. We're preparing for the fullness of all the feasts combined in a fully united, transformed bride in a bridal city. That's what we're preparing for. And then there's just a few links here to the, as I said before, the easy scripture version, which isn't finished, but uh, it's probably half finished. So if you want some easy scriptures, it's all online. You can look at that too. That's, this is our home page. What I want to talk to you today about Briefly, is our first heading up here. Who is Yahusha? Because that's the foundation. Yahusha has to reveal himself to you personally. You have to feel that you're being wooed, led, drawn out of the world, out of the system, out of religion, out of wherever you've come from, into Yahusha. And then he's going to show you who he truly is. So let's click on that there. And we come over to here, this next page. Who is Yahusha? The doorway to deliverance. Yahusha said, I am the door. I am the gate. There's a narrow path there. He is this gate. Uh, many people think that it's all about Yahuwah, the father, because they've been told there's a father figure and that it's all about Elohim, Yahuwah. It's all about Yahuwah. Yahuwah is the true name. Yahuwah is the true name of the father and creator. He revealed himself Alehim revealed himself to his creation as Yahuwah. yod hey uah hey they are the Hebrew symbols, if you've never heard them before. And when we sound them out in English, it's not Yahweh. It's not Yahuwah with a W. It's Yahuwah. That's how you say his name. But the thing is, you can know his name, and you can know the name of the son, Yahushua as well, the image of the son. But you've got to follow the history of Scripture and work out who is he. What did he do? Where did he go? Yahuwah transitioned, morphed into flesh as Yahusha the Son, our Messiah and Elohim. And remember, this is just a brief overview of this. We're going to go into these subjects more as we go along. So if Yahuwah transformed, morphed, like the image of a butterfly, when we talk about a butterfly, a caterpillar goes into a cocoon. He completely dissolves into a new creation, which is a butterfly, and he breaks free and flies forth. So Yahuwah did that. He became a new creation, a man, and yet Elohim. Because Elohim was spirit and un a consuming fire. He lives in unapproachable fire. We can't approach Elohim, we'd be frackled up because we are sinful and he is perfect. So he had to become as a man, a lowly, humble servant, man, son yet a perfect man, because his seed, the blood, did not come from his father, Joseph. It came from Elohim. He became a man. So Yahushua is now the only name we call on for deliverance. I'm going to show you this here. The key, the name Yahuwah and, and Yahushua is the key of all knowledge. If you don't even know that, if you're still worshiping Jesus, if you're still using the name Jesus, that's like the anti-Messiah because it's not real. His name is only 600 years old. It's a completely different being. That's not the man in scripture that we're talking about. The key of all knowledge is his name. Once you understand his name and especially who he is, it unlocks all the scripture to you. Yahuwah, that's the father's name. Yahuwah means I am, I was, I will be meaning he is completely self-existent. The name of Yahuwah is the key of all knowledge, unlocking the abstract truths within the scripture, breathing the same spirit of life that wrote them into us. And without his correct name, all we see is ink on a page. And that's what's going on in the world. People are teaching it, preaching it, everything, this name, and they don't understand the scriptures because they don't have the spirit of Yahusha Elohim within them. 
Yahuwah's name isn't just a way to identify him like our names today, where we just throw letters up in the air and see where they land, especially today. That's not what his name's about. Yahuwah's name carries the power and essence of who he is, his reputation, his honor, his esteem, and his royalty. He and his name cannot be separated. So it does matter what we call him. It does matter what name we use because it's like a password. If you put the wrong password into your computer, you don't gain access. If you use the wrong name, you don't have any power. He says that his name is Yahuwah for all generations. Scriptures say that. My name is Yahuwah for all generations. However, by calling on the name of Yahusha, because remember, Yahuwah became Yahusha. He became Yahusha. Yeah? By calling on the name of Yahusha for our deliverance, we're actually using the name of Yahuwah, but so much more. Because Yahuwah's gone. Yahuwah metamorphed and took on flesh for our deliverance. He became Yahusha. So Yahuwah is no more. There's no power in that name. There's no power in that system. There's no power in any of that old covenant stuff. There's no power in that because he became someone new. He gave us new commandments. He gave us, which was summarized. He didn't abolish, but they summarize everything that came before. There's no point going back and being a Hebrew freak because he just simply chose that nation to work his plan of deliverance in, to be a witness to the nations. And they didn't. They failed. They died in the bum. They, they, they were exiled, divorced, cut off, cancelled. And he came and he sought out the lost sheep of the house of Israel, as many as he could. Most of them rejected him. And in the end, they hated him so much, they killed him. So, especially when his apostles went out into the world, he said through many of them, mainly Paul, they went to the Jews first. Usually the Jews rejected them, more often than not. So they, the door was open to all the nations to come in, come in. And anyone who was obedient to the new blood covenant of Yahusha, Elohim would be delivered. And that's where we find ourselves today. It's not about race, color, lineage, bloodlines, nothing. It's heart condition. This is the temple. He needs to come and dwell on our hearts. So Yahusha, Yahuwah has a new name. Let's shrink that down a little bit. Yahuwah has a new name, Yahusha. All dominion, power, and authority over creation belongs to the Deliverer. It's not about the name Yahuwah anymore. Because Yahushua is the door. The name of Yahuwah is the key. But you've got to see where the key, where he went. He came and opened the door. He said, I am the door. No one comes to the Father. No one comes to eternal life. No one comes. I am the way, the truth, and the life. You've got to come through me. Because he is the door. Until the arrival of Yahushua as the promised deliverer, mankind only knew about the creator Yahuwah. But all through the original scrolls, there are two Hebrew letters, two symbols, an Aleph Tor, which is the signature of Yahushua. The Aleph and the Tor is just like saying our A and our Z. A and Z in the English. A and Z is like the Hebrew Aleph and Tor. It's the beginning and the end. Everything that comes in between it is all him. He's the Aleph and the Tor, which is the signature of Yahushua, showing us that he himself is the author of the scriptures from beginning to end. He is the living word made flesh. In the beginning was the word and the word was with it. The word is Elohim. Yahushua is Elohim. He's been there from the very beginning. He appeared as a, as a burning bush. He appeared as a column of smoke, as a divine fire. He appeared as a father. An imageless father, because they didn't have, they weren't allowed to put an image to him. And then he appeared as the image of the sun. He is Elohim. He is the living word made flesh and the physical representation and fullness as Elohim. This has to be revealed to you personally from him. Understand this? So the name of Yahushua is a complete revelation of who the creator of the universe really is. Yahushua is Elohim. The word, the Aleph Tor who introduced himself to his creation in the beginning as a father and mighty Al Shaddai, orchestrating each encounter and conversation through all the scriptures to wake up, to deliver, and to restore his bridal people back to the new covenant marriage. Once again, he wants his bride. 
He wants his bride. He, he worked through a, his first wife, Israel. He thought he wanted them to be his bride. He wanted them to be his wife. But they wouldn't. They wouldn't play ball. They wouldn't be obedient. They wouldn't do, say, behave his truths. So in the end, he exiled them. And he sought a new bride. He died so that he could remarry. Yahuwah means I am. Remember up the top it said, I am, I was, I will be, all that. Yahuwah just means I am. So why would you want to be associated or call yourself, cry out in the name? There's no deliverance in that name, is there? Yahuwah just means I am. However, Yahusha means I am your deliverer. So Yahusha Elohim is the only name we call upon to enter the vein of deliverance and receive eternal life. So... All people are born with a corrupt spirit in their flesh that controls them and wants to take them to their death. Through the name of Yahushua Elohim, people can have this spirit removed and be healed from all sickness, disease and mental disorder and brought back to perfect health. Yahushua says he is the door, the narrow gate to his spiritual reign. It's a reign not found on this earth. And through our repentance, he washes us in his blood and baptizes us in his spirit and in his fire. Two separate baptisms. In order to train and prepare us to be his perfect bride, filtered and waiting in the wilderness for his soon return. So this is just an overview of who Yahushua is. If you don't know who Yahushua is and you want to know, this is who he is. He's real. He's personal. He's just not hidden in the pages of scripture. He is real, alive today. He can come into you. He can live inside your heart, start throwing things around, moving the furniture, burning all the impurities out of us. Because even though he died for us to make us legally clean in his sight in order for us to approach and come close to him and have a little portal open on us so we could come close and not freckle up, we still have bad behaviors in us. We still have bad habits and there is still a spirit in us that's been in us ever since our birth, ever since we were conceived. We are conceived with this corrupt seed of sin within us and we fill ourselves with the world and it gets greater and stronger and we get wackier and wackier and more depraved and more crazy. And if, you, if you're here today, you haven't gone and ended it and jumped off a cliff because that's what spirits and Satan wants for you because we were created in the image of of Alehim, and he hates us because of it. So we can have that evil spirit taken out of us that controls us. That's the process of deliverance. That is the vein that we're speaking in right here today. So there's just a little short video there that tells you about the Hebrew symbols and how they uh, transform. That's the tetragrammaton, as they call it. I'm not going to go into those Hebrew issues today. Uh, there are things at the bottom of this page here that you can search for yourself. Uh, do you want to know more about Yahushua's vein of deliverance? There are videos there that you can look at from the last over the last month. We've talked about the vein at the dining discussions. We talked about the vein. I had this vision of glowing gold vein to the rock. Talks about that. Victoria spoke about the vein last week. And there's proof. There's stacks and stacks of scriptures I go to in that video there if you want proof that Yahushua is actually Alahim. He is Alahim. Alahim can only be one. He's not a trinity. He's not a duality. There's only one. He says it all through scripture. Alahim is one. Here are Yisrael, Yahuwah, your Alahim, Yahuwah is one. He can only be one at, at any given time because there's only one. So, more videos there about Yahuwah. This was back from a year ago when we first got the true understanding of Yahuwah becoming Yahusha. This is when the vein really began for us. So there's some old sermons there of that. And then there's a study here if you want to go into it with your family. It's more child-friendly about the name of Yahushua. This is if you've come out of religion or something and Yahushua is just a freak out. One of the hardest things for us to overcome and get over was the fact that we'd spent 20, 30 years in religion worshipping the name Jesus. It's one of the hardest things to get over. You just want to, you just feel sick. Really? That's not his name? Really? It's a different person? Where the hell have I been? I've been ripped off. You feel incredibly ripped off. You're throwing out books and CDs and music because you don't want to know about that name if you feel sick. But I, don't worry. After a few years, you, you do get over it. It's not as offensive. It's still 
bad though. So there's some studies there you can go through about the Hebrew language, about the fact that Hebrew was the first language on the planet. Adam and Eve spoke Hebrew, and all the prophets spoke Hebrew. Yahushua spoke Hebrew. The apostles spoke Hebrew. So we go through all that. You can talk about, we look at the difference between translating and transliterating. Translating is the meaning. Transliterating is the correct sound. So basically in every single language, no matter what language you speak, you should be saying Yahushua. Even if you have a slightly different accent, it should come out of your mouth as Yahushua. That's what transliterate means. You, you write whatever symbols you need to in that language in order to say the same sound. So that's how names should be. And there's proof that that's his name there. And that's just showing you the different sounds in the Hebrew language. Yahuwah. That's the sound just your mouth, your lips should be making. And you can go to this web page if you want to go into it in more detail. That's there. Most religious people are taught that the ancient name for the father is Jehovah and his son's name is Jesus. However, the French only invented the letter J 500 years ago. So how can there be... There's no letter J in the Hebrew language, so there can't be a Jehovah and there can't be a Jesus. So the father and the son's names were completely ripped out of the scriptures, replaced with Lord and God and Jesus and Christ, all these hideous names. That's why there's no power in religion. So, that's Yahushua's name. Yahushua is the doorway. All these things you can go through. And then at the very bottom of the webpage, there's a couple of articles there. Uh, if you really want to know the ins and outs, the real, real complicated Hebrew stuff as to why we call the name Yahushua, there's a couple of articles there by a man named Lou White. He's the one who discovered the name of Yahushua. It's about all he got right, but that's why they're there. If you want to go into deeper research about it, and why it's Yahuwah, Yahusha, those sounds. He takes you through the Hebrew language. Um, so that's that's that. This is our first page, and we talk about the hieroglyphic Hyksos hoax. All those, all those little symbols there. They're not right. We don't go by those symbols. We go by Paleo Hebrew. That's enough for this. I think this is our first page, our first study on the name of Yahusha. Yahusha is our Elohim. That's been long enough. Uh, welcome to the Behaviour Revolution, if you're new to it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with our next study about the vein. What is the vein? Yahushua is our Elohim. That's the that's the greatest revelation to your heart. You know, Yahushua asked his followers, who do you say I am? Oh, a prophet, you're Elijah, you're John the Baptist, you're this, you're this. It was only John, Peter, sorry, that Peter said, you are Elohim. You're the son of Elohim. He could see that you are who he was. Thomas, after he put his fingers in the holes of Yahushua, after he was resurrected, he said, my master and my Elohim. These truths, these revelations have to be revealed to you personally. And that's how you enter the vein of deliverance. You get drawn and you can see the spiritual reign. It's not of this earth. That's when the process begins. So we love you very much. If you'd like to drop us a line, there's a comment section on the website. You can leave a comment under this video and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. There's no stupid question. We'd love to know you and get to know you and it's wonderful to be in, in like-mindedness and unity. So let us know, brothers and sisters. It's wonderful to meet you. My name's Mark and welcome to the Behaviour Revolution. This is our website. See you later. Is fulfilled, the Lamb Yahushua killed. His perfect blood has cleansed all realms. Yahuwah met a mob, Yahushua was brought forth. He put on flesh to live the feet. Like a butterfly deep inside, wrestling to break free. Like a butterfly deep inside. Like a butterfly deep inside, burning in my heart. Like a butterfly deep inside, setting me apart. Cause the only way to be the greatest, be the least. The only way to have real love is to decrease. The only worship he accepts, behave.
as breeze The only way to life eternal Through His peace Pentecost Pentecost is fulfilled The Hushia Spirit dwells In living temples like this stone by seeing that Yahushua's at the heat and we have this true spirit Here we go. like a butterfly deep inside wrestling to break free like a butterfly deep inside struggling with the sea like a butterfly deep inside burning in my heart like a butterfly deep inside Setting me apart Cause the only way to be the greatest Be the least The only way to have real love Is to decrease The only worship he accepts Behave as priest The only way to life eternal Through his feet Setting me 